Keep me a shooter, but ain't talking camera. These bitches so thirsty, gon' handle my family. Ballin' hard like I play for Indiana. I think that's the reason these niggas can't stand us. They think I'm an outlaw and rock the bandana. Man, I'm all out of but I ain't so YouTube, I'm about to do a wavelength haircut with a taper. Now I've been doing these on TikTok and I've been seeing a lot of people been messing with them. So I said, no, I'm gonna take this to YouTube and show YouTube what to do. So let's get into this tutorial right quick. You see, you got the waves spinning up in there. Let's get into it. All right, I got my one on my walls. That's with that guard on there, all the way closed. You see that? We're gonna go with the grain. Like I said, I cut this hair all the time. It's one of my day one clients. I've been cutting this hair for years. So I know how his hair is. I know how it's trained. I know his way it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with the grain on it with the guard on there. We're just going with the grain. And sorry if I sound crazy. You know, I got a slight cold right now. So I'm gonna be all right though. You know what I'm saying? This is what we're doing. Going with the grain with it. That's it. That's it. Okay. No guard. Y'all see that? No guard. All the way open. We're gonna start that back taper right now. Gonna take that and go up. Just go up. Making your first initial guideline in it. But like you can't see it because the angle of the this video and the light and all that, but you will see it in a minute. So go against the grain, putting that guideline in there first. Make it so everything's smooth when you do it, you know what I'm saying? Put that up in there. Okay, okay, okay. Step now, we got the guard on there. And we're gonna go up a little bit to get that line out. This is getting that dark line out that we put in with the, uh, the clippers the first time with no guard. Just flick up with it, flick up with it, flick up with it. You know I'm saying you ain't gotta do too much. Just flick up, flick up, flick up, bet. Now you got the liners, these are the Andes. I'm gonna hit this side. And notice these liners ain't that sharp. Why? Because these are the liners sometimes I use for kids. If the back of their neck is sensitive and as they say it hurt, the line is hurt, I use these. A lot of people be saying, talking stuff about, do not look duh, they do this, they do that, but your line is probably cutting up kids. <laughs> these don't. So, I'm just going to hit the back and let them, you know what I'm saying, get them crispy. Just going all around the ear, you know what I'm saying, make sure you hit every angle of them. Alright, shout out to my sponsors. The Edge Up Spray. Candy's Edge, Salon Candy's Edge will spread it. So I was telling them, they, they sent me this, told me, use this, I right, bet. So I sprayed it on there, hit like three times. Shout out to Salon Candy's. Now I got my liners. And I'm just tapping the liner, you know what I'm saying? This, the natural liner. We keep it natural as possible for now. We ain't doing none of that fibers yet. None of the pencil yet. We keeping it natural. Because I like to see how it look natural first before I do anything. And you see I'm doing ball nicks. I'm about to start my taper right here. Why I got it, while I'm doing lining, might as well start with that. So, I'm hitting it, getting it crispy, getting it crispy as possible. That's the goal. You want to get your lining crispy as possible while it's still natural. So, when the enhancements wear off, you still got it natural. Now, we got these. You see how I opened it all the way up? I'm going up. I'm going to make my first guideline. No, my second guideline, actually. Because we still got that ball line in. I'm going to show you how we're going to get that out, though, too. Take that, close it, and you hit it where we put them lines at. We put them gold liners right there, made that ball line. We getting that out. We getting that out right there. And you can still see the faint, the line inside there from the one. We just gonna flick up with it though. Now we got the one guard on there, and we gonna get that line out. It's easy. It's the whole taper right there. That's that's it. That's easy. You know what I'm saying? All this is easy. It's a step by step. You just gotta know what to do, and you gotta follow all the steps. Now we got the guard off, and now we just flicking up, just flicking it up, just teasing it. We going with the grain now, taking a little excess bulk off because we want this taper to lay down smoothly as possible. So you might have to go over it a couple times, but you'll be alright. We got the bar of magic pencil now, and now we are gonna hit it. See, it's already crispy without it, but this the this the icing on the cake. All enhancements do is to make the haircut look a tad bit better. That's it. That's all we doing. And it's like now you gotta use them because everybody want the enhancements now. All the young people want them. And it's older people that want them. You just gotta know how to do them right. You know how to do them enhancements right. People really a mess with you. Like, there yeah, you can change a person who don't like enhancements to a person that love enhancements if you do it right and keep it looking natural as possible. And that's all you gotta do. Easy work. Peace out, YouTube. Hit y'all back.